Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about saving radio button values into database. So let's start. So first I will show you the design. So this is the design from our previous tutorial. So I'll uh, click on this form and I will expand it a bit and then I will drag this button down and this uh, button as well. And now we will add in uh, or I will duplicate this label and I will change the text of this uh, to uh, gender and now I'll go to top and here I'll use this as a gender underscore btn and now we will go to uh, toolbox and search for radio buttons so search radio button and I will drag in this and uh, I'll uh, rename this as uh, mail underscore btn and uh, I'll change the text as well so I'll come here and change this text to mail and now I'll duplicate this I'll select this and then control drag this So I'll make the text uh, as female on this, so female and we will go to our, um, uh, to the name of this uh, and I'll make this female button, female underscore btn and I'll click. Now our uh, radio buttons are created now we will add a column into our uh, database so I'll come here uh, database table so I'll go to its design std table I'll uh, right click on this and go to design and now I'll add in a table here uh, a column here and I'll name this uh, gender ID because we usually uh, create a different table for gender and we store the gender ID in our main table so this is gender ID now uh, we have created this all control is this now we will go to our stored procedure and modify that so this is our stored procedure our right click on this and modify now I'll add in here uh, as add gender id and um, it will be of type int so here we will use comma gender underscore id and here we'll pass in at gender id now this is complete so now we will execute this so I execute now it is showing an error because we haven't used a comma here so I'll use a comma here and then execute again now it is successfully executed now we will go to our code so I'll double click on this to go to code and now here we will use um, by default we will have a, we will check one value or one button so I'll go to registration form I'll click on this mail and uh, I'll use checked as checked yes so here it is it is checked is false so I'll make this true now it is uh, by default uh, uh, selected this mail so 
what is the difference between check boxes and the radio button so when you have to select multiple values then you use or uh, we use check boxes and we have uh, and when we have to select one of the multiple values as we have two values here but we have to select only one male or female then we use radio buttons now if we have more than two values then uh, instead of radio buttons then we will use then we will use combo boxes now we will save this uh, so i'll double click on this and um i'll C use cmd dot parameters dot add with value and here I'll pass in double quotes and uh, I'll pass in add uh, I'll go here and uh, copy this control C this and now I'll go here again and I'll and backspace that and paste it here and here I'll use Mm. Uh, get radio uh, button uh, get radio value and we will create this method now I'll put a uh, semicolon here and I'll, I'll, I'll click on this on this and uh, we will generate this method so it is generated right here uh, down this one this is the method so it return and uh, integer type so um, I'll return here if uh, radio R mail btn dot uh, checked then uh, return one semicolon else return uh, two here we would use two turn two semicolon now it will return the value and it will be saved in the database so let's run this and let's check it now if I run this now our application is running so if I click on this registration and if I put here the name of uh, Ali or uh, uh, Salim and here I use Salman Al Java and mail is checked because the name is mail and if I save this now data successfully saved so now if I come here to database and if we check our and uh, this is our but we have to create uh, again select the rows because our column is not here the gender column so now it is here now you can see that Salim Salman and gender is one now we will uh, select another or enter another record and this will be a female record so I'll use uh, Amna and her father name is the same and she is uh, expert in Python and she is female now you can see this is automatically unchecked and now if I save this okay it is successfully inserted and now if I come here and execute this now you can see that in gender column and gender ID we have two which is female so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment and in the next video we will be adding or inserting dead time picker value into our database Thank you.